Not too long ago, we were looking at a different job site stick vacuum and one of the comments was, hey, you better check out the new Craftsman because it looks pretty nice. That guy is 100% correct. This vacuum absolutely rocks. I'm gonna walk you through it top to bottom. Stick with us. So there are a ton of features on this vacuum that I probably should go through first, but I'm going to delay that to the end of the video because I want to show you how this works in different situations so that you can make your own judgment call on this and then we can go through everything that's very important. First, I wanted to start out at home because that's really what this vacuum reminds me of is something that would work well at home. And it does have other uses, don't get me wrong. It's not just gonna be set at home. But carpet was the first thing that I really wanted to see how is it gonna do on longer carpet. Now this is a three speed model and that's very important because I think that that portion of this makes it work really well on carpet. It's 45 CFM, so on high, when you put this on carpet, it really wants to suck itself into the carpet and it makes it hard to move around. You're getting great suction and that's wonderful, but sometimes it's not as easy and you don't need that much suction. So to make it work better on shag, I dropped it down to medium and it didn't want to suction itself to the carpet as bad. So it worked and moved easily. Second, this has a powered rotary beater up front. So I can turn that on and turn it off. So my transition to tile if I didn't want to have that beater running and pushing everything away was simple. I could just push a button, turn the beater off and life was good. So the transition to tile worked out really easy and it, of course it worked well on tile. I could then go through my different modes, max, high and low and life was good. I could pick up anything I needed to and then I wanted to just test how it transitioned over to a rug. And the front of this, we'll show you later, has some easier ways to make it transition. But if you want to just beat it off the front of the rug and make it stop, you can, or you can easily transition it up. Worked great. The big key feature here in making it work great was the ability to switch modes based on what you're on, and this has it all. Next, I wanted to go to some stairs because that's one of the places that these cordless vacuums really shine and it worked excellent on stairs. It would have been a little bit easier for me to do if I wasn't trying to stay out of the way of the camera and I could walk from side to side on the stairs. Um, you can see me fumbling a little bit. But realistically, this thing worked excellent on the stairs and I could run it on max and just let everything do its job and actually picked up quite a bit. After that, I had to empty it. We do have a black lab and unfortunately that dog is shedding like mad these days. So there's a cyclone that's in the canister and that cyclone stopped working, filled up with fur and it's gross. So it emptied out easily and we can go over more of that in a little bit. Next, I wanted to take it over to a job site situation and just say, realistically, how's this gonna work if someone wants a stick back on their job site? So we have a very dirty area there that's full of a lot of little stones and a ton of concrete dust. So in using it there, I was actually very, very surprised on how well it picked up larger stones. That was. Actually, it was kind of hard doing it because there's, it, it's a beautiful vacuum and you know you're just tearing some things up inside, at least in the front. And it, I figured it was going to be a little bit harder to show you some of the things because of how scratched up things got, but that didn't happen a bit. And this thing just shined, even picking up larger stones and sucking all that concrete dust out of the carpet. Now, this is not a HEPA vac as far as I know, so that is not gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to do or it's going to be safe as far as OSHA goes. It's probably letting a lot of that stuff out into the air. Um, your call. With that said, emptying it out there was pretty easy and it does have a agitator on the top of the filter that you can turn. And that's where I started to just turn that and let it get some of that concrete dust or silica out but realistically with something that fine, it was just better to take the top of the canister that held the filter and pound it off and move on. 
From there, I wanted to test out the crevice nozzle and just see how it would do. And that turned out really well. It's easy to use. You can use it with the stick or without the stick. Uh, I just chose not to have the extra stick on and just move it around different areas. Worked very well. Then I had another place in the carpet that was just full of stuff from behind the safes, little tiny stuff that just needed a little bit more of um, a brushed nozzle area to get into. Again, it all worked great and I could pick the levels. So I am super thrilled with this vacuum, but what I really wanna do is bring you in and show it to you a little bit more because there's a lot of cool things here that I think are well worth pointing out. Come on in. So this attachment is powered by two pins. Basically that's where it's getting the power. There's a motor that turns the beater and then there's two sets of LED lights down here that turn on whenever this is powered. Let me just hit the power on it quick. And you can see they didn't turn on right away when I turned on the vacuum and that's because this vacuum memorizes where it was at in its last setting. So if we turn this on again, these lights will come on immediately. And then if we turn the beater off, the lights go off, turn this vacuum on again. This attachment is not powered, so that's very nice. This is super easy to put on and off and it also does have a detent that will hold it in a 90 degree area you just kind of give it a push and it will come down this is awesome for at home on the job site or stairs it works great so there's a lot going on in this area first let's start with the filter it's simply a pull and detach here's your inlet here and you push this button on the bottom springs open you can drain everything out get your fingers in here and pull some of this stuff out if you have a dog obviously easy to close easy to open works well this is the agitator that i was talking about when you turn it it agitates the filter if you just pull up on the top this filter comes out and it is washable they give you instructions on how to wash it they say it should be washed every 31 days and it's washed with soap and water or just water and you're supposed to leave it out to dry for 24 hours it simply pushes back on no issue when you want to put this back in i found it easy enough just to push this up in the top push down and it goes back on without any issue at all. There's also another filter in the bottom of this. That's just going to be a larger filter, and I believe it's for the motor, not for anything to do with the actual suction that's coming through. But this large filter did get a little bit dirty from our job site area, simply blown out without issue. While we're down here, battery comes on and off it uses any of the craftsman v20 batteries and they have them up to six amp hour at this point it is available to be used with the versatrack system so if you happen to have that this little piece can be pushed forward and you can hang it now the controls are very simple when you push this power button you can turn it on you have three settings here between low and max and then this button will turn on and off your beating function at the end in the LED lights. And then you have a battery level indicator. So let's just turn it on and go through some of the modes. You can see we started out with a full battery and then it dropped down one bar and realistically this two amp hour battery that's on here does work very well for this vacuum. It matches up with the battery level indicator here and the runtime on it is better than expected. So other than that, it's uh, if you needed a bigger battery, I could see it, but uh, short term house cleaning, this two amp hour works well. As we said before, this unit does come with a crevice nozzle and another attachment for more of a large brushed area. And it does have 
an attachment here to hold everything together. Uh, that works. It's fairly tight with these. As you can see, they're not as easy to get off if you really push them on. This guy worked great for carpeting that was low and you really wanted to scrub it and get in there. I think it could have a lot of uses at home. This is a pretty standard crevice nozzle and just like everything else, these just push in and lock into place just like this longer stick does. So they're very easy to change and they'll stay in place. They're not relying on a friction uh, compatibility there. So I like that. This stuff works very well and you can go back and forth to this stuff pretty easy. My main concern here when I'm putting this on is to go slow just because I'm always worried about those pins. I don't think there really is a need to be worried about them, but I wouldn't want to jam it in and then bend them and have to bend that back. So here's my take. Simple. This thing is perfect for at home use or something that is going to be lighter job site use where you need to clean up floors, carpeting, different things like that. If you really want to attach this to a tool or use a longer hose, it doesn't come with that. So it makes it a little more difficult to use in a purely job site setting. And the last Milwaukee vacuum that we looked at was a HEPA filter and it didn't have the CFMs, but it had a lot of different hose stuff, but it also was advertised as optimized for the job site. Now, if I had to write something on this box, I would write on it optimized for home cleaning because man, it's just perfect for that. And it works very, very well. And it gives you the different power levels to work on different areas and allows you to turn on and off the carpet beater. Everything here is perfect for that. Does it work on the job site? Definitely, it works just as well if you're in a home or a business and you need to clean up different areas and it even worked really well with the larger stones and larger pieces that would be going through here. Will it work great with large pieces of like OSB or particle board? Maybe not so great if you had large chips, but if they were just little chunks, yeah, it'll do just the same as a stone. So I like that portion of this. I think there's two different crowds here that are gonna go more for the job site and more for at home. Stanley Black & Decker has a lot of experience at the home stuff, and I think that's why this stands out a little bit for home use, and I think they really rocked it when they put this together. I think people in the Craftsman line are gonna be raving about this vacuum, and I would say that if you can find a place that has reviews, I bet this is a 4.7 to a 4.8 star review without any issues. It just simply works well. I've had multiple other tool company type vacuums like this, and this is by far the best. So if you're looking for something like that, this is definitely something I'd get into. It does come with a battery. You know, it's great. I'm not gonna bag on a two amp hour battery. I wish it came with a four, but it doesn't really need it. So the only thing you're missing when you go from this vacuum to like maybe a shark based one or something else from home is the fact that you have to remove the battery from this unit and put it in a charger and then put the battery back in. There's no way to physically plug this vacuum in and let it charge the battery. It's the only downside. Other than that, I love it. So if you're looking for a vacuum like this, check it out. If you're not, it's good to know that something like this is out there. As always, I wanna hear what you think. Leave that in the comments below. It's always interesting when I look at something and say, hey, here's what I think, and then I can kind of compare it to what you guys are thinking. And if you have suggestions on what to look at next, obviously this was one of them. So let's do it. Leave me a suggestion on what to look at and we'll keep moving forward. Hey guys, give me a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, have a great day.